Okay, so the cue pops. Looks like we're going into Deep Wind Gorge. Not a bad place, although the Alliance usually loses this, and unfortunately, I'm on the Alliance. I'm on my Night Elf chick. Demon Hunter, about ready to join the battle. 11 seconds. Now the countdown starts. I like the addition of that countdown. Let me know if you like that countdown. 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, I'll save you the suspense. We all know what comes next, right? Well, that's wrong. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. I guess Blizzard just... Another bug. Whatever. <laughs> that opening clip was not fake news. Yes, my friend failed Blizzard, I mean failed Wizard, plays a Worg in Holy Priest, but that was not him. That was just some random guy hating us. You know, it's contagious, so we both did the teabag thing. Now I'm in Alteric Valley, and I'm thinking maybe I should try to take this bunker and adhere to the objectives, which probably is not good for my general health at this point. Now I got a BM Hunter on me, and a warrior decides, hey, I'm gonna get on him too, so now I'm in a 1v2. Got all kinds of problems. Now we gotta be like Forrest Gump with Rocket Boost and Kaboom. Boom, we're on our way. Got a dinosaur chasing me. Only in WoW, right? So I'm running, running, running. So just to get the dinosaur off me, fake death. Watch what happens. Horde Priest stops and thinks, Hey, dude, are you really dead? And I say, Yes, I'm really dead. He says, Well, hmm, okay. I guess I'll just go on my merry way. <laughs> That's what really happened. I was there. I know it. That's what happened. Swear, it's not fake news. <laughs> Sometimes we're hit an auto run and we're going afk for a few seconds few minutes it happens to all of us maybe that's what's happening here no not that guy he's got slows he's got chaos bolts he's dead the warrior watch the warrior decides i'm gonna run right into the wall now is this intentional or is this like auto run afk well you be the judge let's kind of rewind it well i'll just show you the clip over but we're gonna slow it down he's going in slow motion looked like he had his eyes on the stairs kind of misses it by a lot and he's running straight into the wall into the wall yes that's a wall into the wall i know warriors can bust through a lot of things but he ain't busting through that wall demon hunter on him now suddenly he charges so he's definitely not afk you be the judge whatever it is it's just kind of messed up <laughs> Here's something you really shouldn't do. No, don't don't worry about the rogue. He's gonna get destroyed by me, the fire mage, and the frost DK. Yeah, it's soon to be. Thanks for playing. Just 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 die. Get it over with. Just th there it is. Okay, don't worry about him. DK is gonna take care of him. Uh, why just leave one of those things parked right in the middle like that? That's that's not good. That's not good. You, th now this is the alliance. This isn't the horde. So it makes sense that they would just leave the demo right there for us to blow it up. That makes perfect sense because you just park it there i mean the worst thing that could happen is what you get a parking ticket you know get your license take it away some people should not drive this there should be a license to drive these demos sometimes or glaives but suddenly somebody just decides hey that's a bad idea to leave it parked right in the middle like that so he hops in and we essentially uh eventually blow it up so the lesson is don't park the demos in the middle of the other road like that <laughs> Here's something you really don't want to try, okay? Even if you play a Holy Priest, do not try this. Do not try to 1v3 stables as a Holy Priest. Maybe a Fury Warrior gets, gets, gets away with it. Maybe, 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 but not a Holy Priest. He's just going to pretend that the two hunters and the Red Paladin are just barrages. We're not really there. We're just figments of his imagination. And soon this isn't going to work out for him. He's going to have to have a good health care plan. Well, screw that. He's going to have to have a good burial plan. And now he's a guardian angel and he's healing the grass and the ponies. <laughs> Did you ever have trouble reaching a target, catching a target? I mean, really, really have trouble catching a target like this priest all the way up here, up there, and I'm all the way down there on my hunter. Yeah, it kind of creates some technological problems. There is the warlock trying to get him. I'm totally, totally focused on trying to get him. And then this DK steps up. He's like, guys, let me show you how it's done. Check it out. Death Grip Dead. That would that looked really cool, didn't it? Death Grip Dead. That's the way it works with DKs, right? So um, let me tell you, DKs are not not very mobile. Actually, they're not mobile at all, and uh whatever. It works out. Now watch this hunter. He's basically just doing whatever he can to survive, doing whatever he can to survive. 
and he kind of like forgets where he is and he starts moving to the portal thinking maybe I could teleport to the Horde base, but it doesn't work out for him. Wow, that's two noobs in one clip. What are the odds? <laughs> I get myself locked into a 1v1 with a Rep Paladin, but for those of you who are watching and can see that it's really kind of a 1v1v1. It's me, the hunter versus the rep paladin and rep paladin versus this worgen disc priest on my team so i gotta try to protect the disc priest and i'm just shooting away at the rat taking him down slowly but surely he's he doesn't pop his hand to freedom he's just kind of thinking i got this and it doesn't really matter and sooner or later coming soon coming soon it's going to be thanks for playing there we go so now i have a couple of real grade t for him aka teabagging and i want you guys to watch what's going to happen in about five seconds here we're just going to stop it for a second because you know what that hatred in this game that negativity in this game is really really contagious especially when the worgen starts throwing out some raspberry tea <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those situations where i kind of scratch my head and no i i don't have dandruff okay Here's the deal. My monk has the flag and a rogue is on him. So I imprison the rogue and this is the upper. Now, right now, yes, I understand my flag carrier is stunned, but he turns around and fights. He should have been on the go. He should have been out of there, especially a monk. He could easily get away from a rogue, but he insists on sticking around and fighting. Okay, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes. You make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Now the fight is over because the rogue vanishes. And what does he do? He runs right into a paladin and a monk why didn't he go the other way he had two other directions he could have went and of course the rogue is there because he anticipates and now he's in a 1v3 and i'm like he's stupid he should just die and of course they cap <laughs> i mean people path of least resistance you get that concept down you got half a pvp down <laughs> One of the big things that always confused me about World of Warcraft is the fact that when NPCs die, when the king dies, when Vol'jin dies, when Garrosh dies, they really die. They really die, right? They don't come back. Well, unless you're in, you're, you know, but Blizzard can't really be very creative and they're having some trouble trying to think of a boss and they just bring, oh, Ragnaros, he's back alive. Or, you know, Z Zuvian, always oh, back alive. You know, they just have a way, bosses have a way of being the only NPCs that could come back. But here I am in Deep Wind Gorge, my team desperately, I mean, desperately needs me. And uh, I can't res. I cannot res. I am in the graveyard. I, I got killed right away, uh, just, just a horde sacked mid, and we had no healers and basically got crushed, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I've been dead for like well over two minutes, and I, I don't know what to do. I feel like one of the NPCs in WoW where I die and I'm really dead, and I'm, I constantly keep clicking on Return to Graveyard, and uh, nothing happens, just nothing I, nothing I could do. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. See, I'm clicking return to graveyard, and I can't get back. I return to the graveyard because I can't leave the graveyard. I'm permanently stuck at the graveyard. Maybe now I'm an undead character, and I can come back as well. I could be the first undead druid on the Alliance, which makes no sense. So eventually I had to leave because I couldn't res. That's Blizzard. Servers are held together with bubblegum and dental floss sometimes. <laughs> this is one of those unfortunate situations where you kind of read the situation, do the right thing, make a really good move, achieve it for like two seconds, and suddenly things go wrong. That's that's kind of bad, and that's that's been the epitome of Legion PvP, where you do the right thing and you don't get the right result. I realize there's all kinds of problems at mid, so one of these two bases, one of these two horde bases has to be free. And I am pretty much correct. So I head over to Fell Reaver, sneaking in, sneaking in, as a druid does. And hey, I'm thinking, okay, I got this. I got this, right? I got this. I'll just behind. I'll just hide behind this big thing. Nobody will see me, even though I'm really big as a boomkin. And now I'm in a good situation. I'm in a one v one against a BM hunter. Now this is before blizzard nerf bm hunters and then they felt bad now they're gonna buff them again but whatever so getting a really good fight really really good fight and i'm kind of feeling it kind of feeling it he's got his guacamole bowl up and he jettisons away and 
um, taking advantage to heal. That's what you do. When someone pops their big defenses or gets out of range, what you want to do is you want to heal. But his pet is still on me, and he even heals himself back pretty big with his guacamole bowl. Good thing Mexican food's there, right? Mexican food, the, the great healer and wow. And we just pop our whammies, and this is a good fight. This is a good fight. He's putting up a good fight, and I'm countering him and doing all the right things, and looks like we're going to beat him. Looks like we're going to beat him. Yes, yes, good news coming our way. We beat him barely beat him that was a really really good fight and i'm feeling pr kind of proud now i'm in a situation where i should take fell reaver but of course not now the reinforcements arrive <laughs> so there goes yeah now i'm in a 1v3 down on health all my whammy's gone you know hey that just happens in pvp that's just the way it is it happens but i thought that was kind of cool new pvp the fun continues